What's happening guys? So yesterday I got a question on my last video, so I wanted to go ahead and take an opportunity to do a video to go over that question. And first, before I do that, I really wanted to, to stress that like, if you ever have any questions, any video topics you want me to cover, please just let me know. Like, I'm more than happy to do it. In fact, actually those are probably my favorite videos to do, is to kind of go ahead and address your questions that you have. So never hesitate to put them in the comments and I will for sure get back to you and do a video on, on the topic if I haven't already done it or if I feel like I want to retouch on it at some point. So anyway, this question was, is body weight training effective? And what I, what I asked was for a little bit of cl clarification, like effective in terms of what? And uh, the, basically the question was, is it effective at building muscle and losing fat at the same time if possible? So before I get into body weight training, I think first we need to take a look at is losing fat and gaining muscle simultaneously even possible. So the the short answer is there's only a few scenarios where this is likely, at least any with any real significance. All right, so I'm not gonna say that it is completely impossible to build muscle and lose face lose fat simultaneously in a, an experienced athlete, but it's pretty rare and it's gonna be minimal if anything. Most of the time we're just trying to hold on to the muscle we already have while we're trying to lose fat. So we either need to go through a building phase or a cutting phase. So, so the three instances where it's, it's likely that you can do both at the same time is if you are completely new to training, so you've never done it before, you're just starting out, you're just getting into things, your, your body will respond very well to just basically starting to train, starting to exercise, and dieting at the same time. And, and you can do it simultaneously in that instance. Another scenario would be is if you had a long break from training, whether you are coming back from maybe a bad injury or you just kind of gave up on it for a while and maybe you, you went away from training for a year or something like that, you can go ahead and start back up and, and muscle memory is very real, which I showed in my series I did a while back, which was a muscle memory series in which I looked through myself because I had to go three months without any training at all, doctor's orders, because of some eye surgery and I, I literally couldn't even lift like 25 pounds, I couldn't do like even light curls or anything, I had to completely be off of training for, for 12 weeks. And I lost quite a bit of size in that instance. I believe I lost two inches on my legs and like almost a full inch on my arms, if I remember right. It was, it was, it was pretty significant. And body composition, well, even though I held weight the same, body composition got drastically worse because I wasn't training. So I started losing muscle, probably gained a little bit of fat, and uh, obviously that's gonna change your body composition. So when I got back into things, while well, I was gone for 12 months, I regained all that size and my body composition for the most part within six weeks. So basically like half the time I was out. So muscle memory is very real and it helps you build back up much faster than you did the first time around. So you've got completely new or took a longer break and then the third scenario would be is if you start taking steroids, which I'm not encouraging anyone to do. I am not judging anybody if they do it, it's your call, but that would be another instance where you could do both simultaneously. Now, with regards to body weight training, is it effective? For the most part, I would say it's pretty ineffective, right? Now, as someone who is new to training and you haven't really been doing anything, you'll see a good response from it. You know, going from doing nothing to doing something is always going to yield you better results, right? The problem is, one of the basic principles to seeing further pro progress, especially with, with regards to muscle building, is progressive overload, which is basically just you have to be able to do more over time. You have to be able to do more volume. And uh, that's gonna be pretty limited with body weight training. Like you, you only have so much weight you can move and the only way to do more is literally to do more reps. Like if you're doing push-ups and you can do 20, well, you know, the next step would be 30 and 40 and 50. And pretty soon you need to be doing just like hundreds of, of push-ups, right? And then, and there, there needs to be kind of a certain percentage of your one rep max, your estimated one rep max, to get a, a good response from your training. So eventually you're not gonna get a very good response from that body weight training and you're, you're gonna need to overload your muscles better in order to accomplish that. So what's the next progression? Well, it would be weight training, resistance training with actual weights. So body weight training will get you somewhere it will be a good starting point if you're doing nothing, especially if you can't get a gym membership and you want everything at home. It's definitely good to get going, get you into things and, and, and start the process, but eventually you're gonna stall out on that. Remember, the body always adapts to whatever we do. No matter what it is that we do, the body will adapt to it, which is good because when you adapt, that's how your body actually makes changes. That's what forces changes in your body is when you go through the adaptation process. 
However, once your body adapts, now it needs a new stimulus. And if you're just doing bodyweight training, it's gonna be really hard to give it a, a really good stimulus and a new one over and over and over again to see further progress. So I'm not a huge fan of bodyweight training. It has its place. It, it can be used in, in your training, but to yield better long-term results, you're probably gonna need something more. So that's my opinion anyway. If you guys have a different opinion, please drop them in the comments below. If you have any other questions, any topics you want me to cover, go ahead and drop it and I will talk to you guys later. I'm addicted to the love that you're giving Every minute, every day I've been craving